13. The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. Hello and welcome to our podcast. Today, we will be sharing the top 10 lessons learned from the book, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. The book explores the science behind habits, behaviors, and the way our brains are wired to achieve success. With these insights, we can learn how to break bad habits, form good ones, and use the power of habits to reach our goals. Let's dive right in. Lesson one, habits are automatic. Our brain develops habits by creating neural pathways that allow us to perform an action without conscious thought. This is why habits become automatic, and we often don't even realize we're doing them. Once we understand this, we can begin to take control of our habits and create new ones intentionally. Lesson two, the habit loop. A habit is made up of three components, cue, routine, and reward, which form the habit loop. The cue triggers the habit, the routine is the action we take, and the reward reinforces the habit. Understanding the habit loop can help us identify our habits and change them by manipulating the cue or the reward. Lesson three, keystone habits. Keystone habits are habits that spark chain reactions, changing other areas of our lives. For example, if we develop the habit of regular exercise, we may also eat healthier, sleep better, and feel more confident. Keystone habits are powerful because they can have a domino effect on our lives. Lesson four, willpower is a finite resource. We have a limited amount of willpower, which means we can't rely on it to sustain new habits long-term. Instead, we need to create an environment that supports our new habits and makes them easier to stick to. This could mean finding an accountability partner or changing our physical environment. Lesson five, identify your triggers. Triggers are the events, people, or places that make us want to perform a habit. If we want to change a habit, we need to identify our triggers and create a plan for how to avoid or replace them. For example, if we have a habit of snacking in the afternoon, we could plan to take a walk at that time instead. Lesson six, plan for failure. No one is perfect, and we will all experience setbacks when trying to form new habits. It's important to plan for these failures and have a strategy in place for how to get back on track. This could mean forgiving ourselves, learning from our mistakes, and adjusting our approach. Lesson seven, practice makes permanent. Repeating a new behavior over time makes it a habit. This means that if we want to form a new habit, we need to practice it consistently. It's not about being perfect, but about making small, consistent changes that become long-term habits. Lesson eight, small wins lead to big successes. When we achieve small wins, our brains release dopamine, a chemical that makes us feel good. This positive reinforcement makes us more likely to continue our new habit. Celebrating small wins along the way can also help us stay motivated and keep going. Lesson nine, habit stacking. Habit stacking is the practice of linking a new habit to an existing one. This makes it easier to remember to perform the new habit and can help it become part of our daily routine. For example, if we want to start meditating, we could link it to our morning coffee routine. Lesson 10, habits can be transformed. Finally, it's important to recognize that habits can be transformed. We have the power to change our behaviors even if they've been ingrained for years. By understanding the science behind habits and applying these lessons, we can create the life we want. So there you have it, the top 10 lessons learned from The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. By applying these lessons, we can use the power of habits to achieve our goals, break bad habits, and create the life we want. Thank you for listening to our podcast today. We hope you found this information helpful and valuable. 